Hi guys! So today we are continuing our pastel lessons. I'm going to show you what kind of pastels we have. So last time I just showed you shortly uh, some uh, of the different kinds of soft pastels that you have. Depending on the price range, they either blend better or worse. And also the deposition of the pigment on the paper can also depend on the price range. So today I'm going back again to the pastels and let's just take a look at what kind of diff what different kinds of pastel we have. So as the last time we have our soft pastels which uh, you can buy as a whole stick or even or as a half stick. And this is an example of a half stick. Uh, they can be round, they can be square, but they are more chunkier. So they are um, a little bit thicker. So these are soft pastels in the stick form. I will just take one out. Take this one. Then uh, we have hard pastels. And I already mentioned those ones last time. The hard pastels usually come in also in a in a stick form, but this is more um, a thinner. As you can see, they are square, and I actually think they only come in a square form. I'm not quite sure about that, but the only ones I saw till now were square forms. As you can see here, this is a Faber Castell. This is a new pastel from Prismacolor and they come in a stick form and the reason why soft pastels do not come like this um, small stick form is because they are so soft they are actually crumbling and they would not be able to hold uh, this form they would just break apart immediately so we have those ones I will keep that one here uh, what else we have we have something special where did i put them this is something that came out a couple of years ago to the market and it is pan pastel uh, this is a um, pastel pigment the dust that is like pressed inside of yeah it looks like an eyeshadow uh, it's compressed soft pastel and they come as I said in these pens and in order to use this you actually need a tool which I will talk about just uh, in a second so we have one more kind of pastels and those ones oh, I have to open the box and those are the pastels in the pencil form As you can see here, you have also different uh, manufacturers. This is Carbotello from Stabilo. Then you have uh, Faber-Castell and also others. So I'm just gonna show you how they all look here on the paper. And then we will uh, do an exercise and do a real small painting just to show you what you can do with which pastel. So just like the last time, this is a this one is the soft pastel. This is from Unison, and you can lay it down like this in order to get to cover a larger area, or you can also use the side of it to uh, make some marks. Then, as I said before, we have these uh, hard pastels. And these ones are actually used for scratch, uh, scratching, for sketching. They are scratchier a little bit because they are actually hard. And usually they are used, and usually they are used for the initial sketches or as underpainting. Then we have pan pastels, and in order to use past pan pastels what you what you are using are these uh, tools soft tools they are made of plastic 
I'm just gonna take this sponge down and they look like this. So you have, the, there are different shapes. This is like an oval one, you have a square one, you have one a pointy one. And on this plastic, what you put is this foam. As you can see here, it has a, <laughs> has a hole here. And you have to put the foam. And you just put the foam on. And mine is actually, as you can see, already a little bit dirty because I was using it in the past. So I will just clean it. And how you clean it, you just go on a piece of paper that you do not need or not using. And you just wipe it clean until there is no more color co coming out. And yes, they, even though as you can you saw now there is no more color co going to the paper um the sponge does get colored so it is quite difficult to get rid of this color so what you do you just take this tool you press lightly on the on the top of this pen as you can see here i already took a lot of of the of this dust of the pigment and then you go to the paper and you deposit it down by going up and down. If you want it more stronger, you can go in again and do it again. So this is, for example, good for the people who actually do not want to get their hands dirty. <laughs> and last uh, one that I mentioned is the pastel in the pencil form and this one you can use for some uh, details which you can for example I now I have a blue one but you can use it for grass for eyes for for fur in animals and stuff like that and you can actually sharpen them um, yeah some you have to uh, try different sharpeners uh, sometimes it works with a normal one if they start to break then the easiest thing would be to take a knife and just sharpen it with a knife so that's what i like a short really fast explanation of what kind of pastels we have and this one so these four So now I'm going to demonstrate how we can use these different uh, types of pastels. I will remove this one. So for the painting, I will be using the mittens, but not this one. I will be using the mittens touch paper, and that one is a little bit rougher. I already talked about that paper in my last video so you can go and check that out okay so um usually as i said the hard pastels are used for sketching so uh, what i'm going to paint now is just really fast uh painting of a beach of, of the beach so what i have i have like a horizon then and yes, you can also use different colors, so it does not have to be this one. But this is like a, a, a horizon. Maybe it's a little bit too high. I think I've put it too high, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to smudge it a little bit so it does, the line is not bothering me. Um, let's put the horizon here. And there is like a... The sea, this is the beach, the water, then we have um, a palm tree, which will go something like this. Usually I'm actually using brown ones for sketching, no idea why I took the blue one right now, but it's okay. So this is like, there will be my, my tree. And I have um, two pan pastels here. So one darker and one brighter. So I'm gonna go, I will 
make it like this it will be a little bit more blurry but still you will be able to see what i'm doing so i'm now depositing uh, this color to um, make the sky and i'm just taking it like and putting it down because i do not want um i actually want to have brighter there but mixed with my uh blue i'm going directly here so i have the brighter one and the darker one and i'm now mixing them to be together And as you can see, it's actually not so bad or it's not a big problem if you do not leave um, space for, for, the, for the tree, for the leaves, because we can go with the pastel all over this thing and it will cover it. And you can, really, you can see how fast the deposition of these uh, soft pastels is. Um, the thing which is happening because this is a sanded paper and as you can see here this sponge is actually uh, breaking apart so it is possible that you will have to uh, change the, the sponge pretty soon if you are using a uh, sanded paper. And yeah now you can when I have I have the initial layer now I can go in uh, more often with more color to get a better you can also use the side so you are like dabbing it on the side in order to really get nice lines mm -hmm. Okay, so now I can do some like uh, like clouds. So this is like a really fast. I'm not uh, trying to be really accurate here because I just want to show you how you can use these tools. So if you press a couple of more times down, you are getting more of the color up. So you can put um, a thicker layer on the paper. Maybe we need a little bit more blue up here. It's just too bright. And now I would actually go with a really bright one here, but I think I did not uh, bring it. So right, I'm just using these two. Okay. Maybe this one, this side also a little bit darker, like this. So this is how you can really fast cover uh, a background. And I can also use a tissue and wipe this on it. So as you saw, I haven't been doing anything with my fingers. So that's um, a really good thing about the soft pastels. The downside of the soft pastels is that you
do have some difficulties of making crisp lines. So it is um, hard to make uh, crispier lines. So everything will seem a little bit blurry. Okay, so for um, which color did I took? I think I'm actually, yes, I'm going to So just to show you how different you can work, I'm going to do uh, the C with uh, soft pastels sticks. So not with the pens. But I will be using my uh, Rembrandt. So just that I can show you how you can also um, do this. So now I'm I will be working with my hands, of course, with my fingers. I'll be using different uh, colors here. A little bit darker down here, just a tiny bit. We can put some lines here. I will blur this out with my finger. Not blur, I mean, I will mix it. <laughs> but yeah, I actually, I like also to work with uh, the soft pastel sticks because And also in this case here, I actually would love this line here to be a little bit darker. So I'm going in again with my um, soft pastel stick just to define this a little bit. So there is dust forming. So if I did not say that before with the pan pastels, usually there is no dust. Only if you put really a, a thick layer of, of the pastel on the paper, but if not, then there is no dust forming. But with the pastel sticks, with the soft pastel sticks, there is dust forming. And again, I'm working here horizontally so that you guys can see. Otherwise, I would be working vertically. And if you want to know more about that, you can check my other video. Okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with this. And we can make here just um, like an indication of the sand. You see, there was a blue line and I'm actually covering it now. I would actually use here other colors, a little bit of yellow, of uh, like a cream color, like this one that I have, but this is just to show you how it can be done. Okay. Now let's come to the to our tree. The the trunk is actually a little bit uh, it's gray and actually I would need a darker gray. Do I have a dark gray here? I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. I will actually use this one. It's more a purple one, but it's okay. Um, of course, if you want.
for the some harsh lines you can still use um, hard pastel so it's it's not forbidden so <laughs> you can use everything you want but the thing is with the hard pastels that you will be it will be hard to put hard pastels on top of the soft pastels other way around is is okay and it works well but it is quite difficult to put um, hard pastels on the top of the soft pastels because then they are hard pastels are just scratching the soft pastel off from the paper This is my tree trunk, but I still do not have a lot of uh, soft pastel here, so I can actually go here and put some some more la uh, marks. Okay, and for example, now I'm going to use again my. Um, pastel sticks you could use uh, also pan pastels that is not not a problem but you will need something to define the tree e either soft pastel sticks or uh, pastel pencils so i can i can show you like uh, both i have here this is not a really a real green which i which i would need for this tree but for this purpose now i will just doesn't matter I will just show you how what I mean okay so this is like an indication of of, uh, of leaves but you cannot do more uh, and especially if you are working on a smaller scale it is quite difficult to work with uh, pan pastels maybe with the one um, with the um, soft tool which is a little bit uh, like a pointier then you could you could put some lines but still it is everything is a little bit blurry so what you can do now on this especially here you can use um, your pastel sticks To define the leaves So I actually do not have any brown here, uh, or do I? Maybe I do, just give me a second. Yes, I, I do have one brown. So what I'm actually doing, you see here, I'm making, so everything with the side of, of this. And now on the other side, I can do everything with this. I do not need the pan pastels. another one okay and here it will be um yeah, I did not <laughs> bring a lot of colors with me here to test, to show you, but fast examples. You see how this yellow goes on top of the uh, pan pastel, so it is not a big problem to, to use soft pastels on top of the pan pastels. A little bit of some orangey because these leaves are actually already getting like <laughs> dry here also
I should have brought all of my colors. This is black one here, make it darker. This underneath also, we need some more depth to this image. Just to blend like this. And then actually for the, for example, for the shadow of the tree, I just have to clean this one again because there was a green on it. I'm gonna use the blue one. So I'm just using it a little bit and we'll make some shadow. Okay, so what I have not been using till now is actually the pastel pencils. I showed you before that I was doing a lot of uh, these things here with um, soft pastel sticks and these ones are Rembrandts. So they are like um, something between soft and hard. So they are not so soft, so you can still put some nice lines. But what you can do, you can use these um, pastel uh, pencils and the thing is um, it would be really good if you would not use the pastel pencils for the background or some larger areas because you are going to um, how to say not waste use them you are going to use them for one picture and that's it and that's really it's uh, it would be a pity to give up give out so much money and then you use this one pencil for one picture so the the thing is you use either soft pastels or the pan pastels for the background and everything and then you use the pastel pencils for the details so it's as i said it's almost the same as before I did not sharpen them enough, but you can sharpen them nicely. But as you can see, I'm actually putting almost the same lines as with the, with the pastels, soft pastels. But when they are sharpened really nicely, you can put really, really nice thin lines. And yes, you do have to turn it around more often because especially on the sanded paper, pastel pencils are used really fast. And now actually for this top part, I, for me, uh, how I work using uh, these pastel pencils to cover this is just too, it's not my style. It's just too much use of the, of the pastel, of the pastel pencils. So I'm going back to the pastel sticks because I need to cover a larger area and here actually it's not so important that I have some uh, crisp lines so that's why I'm going back to my soft pastel uh, sticks
so yeah actually that would be it you can still add some uh, like uh, highlights here and there or shadows but for this demonstration i think that is um that would be enough as i said background either soft pastels or pan pastels uh, also some details if you have a little bit harder uh, soft pastels you can also do the details with them um, colored pencils for details so if you can do not use them for the for the background you're just going to use them necessarily um, and the hard pastels i as i said i'm using them for sketching for the beginner uh, the sketches at the beginning and yeah you can you can use them also later but if you have a lot of soft pastel laid down it will be difficult to use hard pastels on top of that okay guys so thank you for watching and yeah so i hope this helped you a little bit at least to some amount and yeah have fun um Check out my other video about, about uh, soft pastels. That one had more information for the beginners. And yeah, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.